All right, well, I thought that we might t <clears throat> take a quick look at how I made this um, single step rainbow transmission hologram using a diode laser, <clears throat> which is mode hopping right now or multi moding, and that's why we get that banding effect. But I kind of like it, so that's why I left it in. Later on, I'll break the setup down, I'll take the laser and tune out the mode hopping on it. But for right now, it's pretty cool. All right, well, let's take a look at the setup and see how this was made. <clears throat> okay. Start things off. Here's my film or plate holder. It's removable, so I can slide that in and out. Here's my objects. Some lenses I'm setting up here with. You can see there's a little bit of a different effect that you get. So I've got those set up as my object, transparent. And then back here is my projected slit, which is really nothing more than a piece of glass um, with two pieces of uh, scotch tape taped over it to give it the frosted appearance. And it seems to do a pretty good trick. And then obviously I've masked it off. But you can see I get plenty of light through that little strip of light. And that's what, that's what I paint the background with color. And that beam is actually just spread out using a... Um, negative cylindrical lens bouncing it off of a flat mirror down there and back down to this end of the table. Also with this particular setup we're using an overhead reference beam so the reference beam comes into my plate holder at this angle and that's the setup. So with any luck this hologram will come out and Another nice bright hologram. Right, another little tip that I do too, and I've mentioned this before, is whenever I'm done with my setup, I like to take out my hot glue gun and glue a couple rods in place. This rod actually, if you see, I've got it glued to the top of the plate holder. I've got it glued to my uh, end of my slit with a piece of glass that's holding my slit, and then actually onto the table, my steel top table. And then on the other side, I've got the same situation too with the glue on the rod. And... Um, does a good job of keeping everything nice and rigid and then another must is I have my complete table um, <clears throat> surrounded by a, uh, a curtain heavy gauge cloth to uh, stop wind currents and heat fluctuations and it does the trick and seems to give me a nice bright hologram so I recommend everyone to do that if you haven't done it already all right, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and let's see if this hologram comes out.